Hello my dear students, welcome to the MSNs Academy, myself Menu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the gluconeogenesis. As in the series of the carbohydrate metabolism, we are going to discuss about the gluconeogenesis. What the word uh, gluconeogenesis represent? Gluco means glucose and new means new and genesis means synthesis or formation. Means the glucose formation from the new substance and in the biochemistry the new substance means the non-carbohydrate source. So here the gluconeogenesis means the formation of glucose from the non-carbohydrate source. Now we will write the definition. Formation of glucose, formation of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, from non-carbohydrate sources. And what are the sources? These sources are glycerol, lactate, phosphoenol pyruvate, propionate, glycerol, glucogenic amino acid. Okay. So, these important compounds. So, compounds are, compounds are, here's UMP dot means compounds are glycerol, lactate, lactate, sorry, lactate, pyruvate, pyruvate, glycogenic amino acid, amino acids, propionyl coenzyme A or you can say the propionate, propionate, okay. So, these are the some um, uh, different compounds which are going to generate the glucose for gluconeogenesis, okay. So, uh, what are the sites? These are the uh, uh, where uh, in uh, the cell which part is involved primarily involved for the gluconeogenesis. So, the cytosol, okay, the main site is the cytosol, but but some reactions are uh, proceed in the mitochondria also, okay. Some reactions proceeds in mitochondria, okay. So, mitochondria also having the some parts play some role in the gluconeogenesis but the main reactions are proceed in the cytosol. Okay, so what are the organs? Mainly organs are involved. The mainly organs, uh, the main organs which are involved in the gluconeogenesis that is the liver and some extent, some uh, 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 part of the kidney like the renal cortex also involved in the gluconeogenesis. Okay, so organ is that, organ is that uh, liver and uh, kidney. I will write that kidney, renal cortex, renal cortex part. Okay, some uh, up to the some extent, but the main organ is the liver. Okay, so there are so many reactions in the gluconeogenesis, but here we will discuss some specially or the uh, uh, important reaction which are very much important uh, for caution uh, for the examination point of view. Okay, so first we will discuss about the reverse glycolysis which is a very much important for your examination purpose. So first production of the glucose from the non-carbohydrate is the reverse glycolysis. Okay, why we are saying this is the reverse glycolysis because as we know that in the glycolysis the glucose is converted into the two molecule of pyruvate. So, again we will proceed this reaction that pyruvate will convert into the glucose again. So, this is the reverse glycolysis. So, this reverse glycolysis also having the some stages. So, we will discuss one by one. It has, it include the three stages. So, in the first stage, we will include that the conversion of pyruvate into the phosphoenol pyruvate. Synthesis, conversion of pyruvate into phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate okay so here what uh, main reaction is that uh, in this reaction the pyruvate here the pyruvate first the pyruvate is convert into the phosphoenol pyruvate 
okay uh, sorry the pyruvate is convert into the oxaloacetic acid as we know in the tca cycle the pyruvate is convert into the oxaloacetic acid okay so here the pyruvate is convert into the oxaloacetic acid with the help of pyruvate carboxylase the enzyme is pyruvate carboxylase pyruvate carboxylase carboxylase okay so here the pyruvate is convert into the oxaloacetic acid and in this enzyme atp biotin and co2 is also utilized atp biotin and co2 atp biotin and co2 is also used okay so here the oxaloacetic acid is impermeable to the mitochondrial membrane so it have to convert into the malate okay in the mitochondria itself okay so in the mitochondria the oxaloacetic acid is convert into the malate and malate is permeable malate is permeable permeable for mitochondrial membrane permeable for mitochondrial membrane so membrane memb it's a membrane okay so after conversing the mal uh, after conver uh, after the formation of malate it will reach towards the cytosol and this malate will convert again into the oxaloacetic acid with the help of malate dehydrogenase okay so and the enzyme is malate dehydrogenase okay malate dehydrogenase G and D hydro genes it will convert into the malate dehydrogenase uh, sorry uh, malate is convert into the oxaloacetic acid again with the help of malate dehydrogenase okay and that malate dehydrogenase conversion during the malate dehydrogenase conversion NADPH is formed NADPH and uh, sorry NADH NADH is formed okay now the oxaloacetic acid will produce will convert into the phosphoenol pyruvate okay phosphoenol pyruvate and this phosphoenol pyruvate in this the formation phosphoenol pyruvate conversion the gdp is formed and the co2 is released co2 is released and the gdp is formed GT, gdp is formed from the gtp and the co2 is released okay the phosphoenol pyruvate is convert into the 2 phosphoglycerate 2 phosphoglycerate 2 phosphoglycerate okay phosphoenol uh, 2 phosphoglycerate is generated okay is synthesized and the 2 phosphoglycerate is converted into the 3 phosphoglycerate 3-phosphoglycerate 2-phosphoglycerate is converted into the 3-phosphoglycerate okay now the 3-phosphoglycerate it is a reversible reactions okay so here the 3-phosphoglycerate uh, is converted into the 1,3-diphosphoglycerate 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 okay 1,3-diphosphoglycerate is convert into the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate glyceraldehyde glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into the fructose 1,6-diphosphate fructose 1,6-diphosphate okay so here the from the pyruvate the fructose one six diphosphate is synthesized in the second step the fructose one six diphosphate is converted into the glucose six phosphate okay so here thus in the second step formation of uh, in the second step the formation of formation of glucose six phosphate formation of glucose 6-phosphate from fructose 6-phosphate fructose 1,6-diphosphate fructose 1,6-diphosphate 
phosphate okay so fructose 1 6 diphosphate is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate with the help of fructose 1 6 diphosphatase okay so fructose 1 6 diphosphate is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate with the help of fructose 1 6 diphosphatase enzyme phosphatase and then fructose 6 phosphate is converted into the glucose 6 phosphate okay glucose 6 phosphate fructose 6 phosphate is converted into the glucose 6 phosphate okay here one is the cofactor uh, that, that is the mg plus 2 magnesium plus 2 is also used now the fructose uh, now the glucose 6 phosphate is con in the third step the glucose 6 phosphate is converted into the glucose okay with the help of glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme in the third step the glucose 6 phosphate is converted into the glucose okay so here the glucose 6 phosphate is converted into the glucose with the help of glucose 6 phosphatase phosphatase okay glucose 6 phosphatase okay and the main characteristic of this enzyme this is the mainly present in the liver and the kidney but it is absent in the brain in the muscles and the adipose tissue so i will write here it's a mainly present in mainly present in mainly present in uh, your that liver and kidney and absent in absent in brain muscles adipose tissue okay right so here uh, this is the main enzyme which i um, um, we can say that in the last step conversion this is the main enzyme which are responsible for the conversion of glucose 6 phosphate to the uh, glucose okay so this is the uh, main reverse glycolysis which are the mainly involved for the glucose generation now we will discuss about the core cycle means the glucose generation from the lactate and we will discuss about the glucose generation from the glycerol and other glycogenic amino acid as well now come to the next gly gluconeogenesis procedure here the glucose is generated with the help of lactate and this cycle is known as the core cycle this side i will make the separate video for the core cycle but i am just giving the introduction about the core cycle here the glucose is generated with the help of lactate and the enzyme which is used in this purpose that is the lactate dehydrogenase lactate is converted into the pyruvate with the help of lactate dehydrogenase and this pyruvate with the help of reverse glycolysis which we have discussed just yet uh, just uh, for uh, 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 just after, uh, before some time now the pyruvate is converted into the glucose with the help of reverse glycolysis procedure now in the third reaction the synthesis of glucose from the propionyl coenzyme a basically the propionyl coenzyme a is the uh, 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 we can say it's a three carbon chain compound and it is generated by the help of fatty acid um, uh, fatty acid uh, metabolization or we can say the or by the oxidation of fatty acid okay by the oxidation of odd chain it will generated by the oxidation of oxidation of odd chain fatty acids okay fatty acids and some amino acids like methionine and the isoleucine also generated uh, by the breakdown uh, by the breakdown of methionine and the isoleucine also generated this is propionyl coenzyme A. Okay, so this is the propionyl coenzyme A is the uh, with the help of propionyl coenzyme A carboxylase that convert into the methyl methylmenoline coenzyme A. This methyl methylmenoline coenzyme A with the help of mutase is convert into the succinyl coenzyme A and this succinyl coenzyme A is the intermediate for the TCA cycle, 
ट्राइकार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड साइकिल एंड इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द ऑक्जिलो एसिटिक एसिड और वी कैन से ऑक्जिलो एसिटेट नाउ दिस ऑक्जिलो एसिटेट इज अगेन कन्वर्ट इन टू द फॉस्फोइनोल पायरोवेट विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड येट हियर जस्ट जस्ट येट दिस इज अ फॉस्फोइनोल पायरोवेट एंड दिस फॉस्फोइनोल पायरोवेट इज कन्वर्ट इन टू द ग्लूकोज विद द हेल्प ऑफ रिवर्सल ऑफ द ग्लाइकोलाइसिस प्रोसीजर now come to the synthesis of the glucose from the glycerol the glycerol is uh, generated in the adipose tissue by the uh, triglycerides uh, okay by the metabolization of triglycerides okay so the glycerol is converted into the glycerol 3 phosphate with the help of glycerol kinase and this glycerol 3 phosphate is generated into the dhap dihydroxy acetone phosphate is with the help of glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase this dhap is converted into the fructose 16 diphosphate and again with the help of reversal glycolysis procedure it will convert into the glucose now the fifth is the glycogenic amino acid just i have discussed just little bit about the glycogenic acid because it is not that much important only mcq pattern uh, uh, point of view it's a uh one or two questions they can ask okay so here the most common amino acids which are involved for the synthesis of the glucose that is the alanine different amino acids are metabolized and produce particular intermediates and these intermediates are very much important for the gluconeogenesis i have written here also the different amino acids produce intermediate for gluconeogenesis now some um, uh, uh, different amino acids are generated different intermediates now like this alanine serine glycine and cysteine generated the pyruvate valine methionine isoleucine is converted into the succinyl coenzyme a glutamine proline and histidine is converted into the alpha ketoglutaric acid aspartame and aspartate is convert into the oxaloacetic acid so this is the complete gluconeogenesis now we will discuss about the significance of the gluconeogenesis now come to the significance part because this a gluconeogenesis help to maintain uh, the glucose continuous supply so the organs which are very much important or we can say which needs the emergency supply or we can say not emergency it's a continuous supply for the glucose because they are working 24 and 7 24/7 that's why the gluconeogenesis help for the continuous supply of glucose like brain like cns like rbcs testes kidneys because these organs are continuously 24/7 hours working in the working mode okay and if this in the skeletal muscles as the anaerobic conditions are generated if we are doing too much workout so in the skeletal muscles anaerobic conditions are developed so for during that anaerobic conditions the glucose is supplied by the help of gluconeogenesis otherwise the too much lactate will deposit and it will cause it will harm our muscles okay now during the fasting if we are doing the fasting for a long time period so the gluconeogenesis help to fulfill the body requirement for the glucose now the next significance that with the cycle body remove the lactate glycerol and the propionate as we know that the lactate and uh, lactate are the toxic for our muscles so for the uh, for by the help of gluconeogenesis our body help to remove such uh, these toxic products and with the help of these uh, these toxic products our body utilize into the formation of the glucose this is a whole for the gluconeogenesis i hope you enjoyed my lecture any doubt kindly ask in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you